Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today, yes, we're ending 2020 with a bang. I'm going to show you how to make stamp pad ink from lube. And watercolour paint too, but, you know, mostly lube. It's December 2020 and I wanted to make some wrapping paper for a gift, but I didn't have any stamp pads in the house and I didn't really fancy taking the risk of dying during a pandemic to buy a stamp pad. So I did a little bit of research and I figured out how to make a really great stamp pad using stuff that I had at home. I started with this tray that had previously held a bunch of picture hanging supplies because it seals shut and the compartments are a good size. I cut up a spongy cellulose dishcloth and I put a couple of pieces of that in each compartment. Now to the lube. Why on earth would I make ink with lube? Basically, stamp pad ink is designed to stay wet in the pad and then dry as soon as it hits the paper. This kind of ink dries by absorption, meaning that the paper pulls the ink into its fibres and locks it in. So, we want the ink to stay wet on the pad, but dry without bleeding and spreading through the paper. This is where the lubricant comes in. I'm going to go ahead and assume that most grown-up adults have a tube of lube in their homes. Mine's water-based, and that's the kind you want to use. Its ingredients are listed as glycerin, water, vegetable gum and preservative. If you don't want to use lube, you can buy some straight-up glycerin and it will do the same thing, but that's probably less fun and more expensive. The glycerin in the lube is what's doing the heavy lifting here. In science circles, it's known as a surfactant, and it's what helps the ink stay wet on the sponge. To mix my ink, I squeezed out a blob of lube onto a plastic palette, added a little watercolour paint from a tube, and I mixed them together with a palette knife. When that was looking good, I slowly added a little bit of water to thin it out a bit more. If I just mixed water and paint together, the resulting ink would bleed into the paper after stamping, and it would also dry out on the stamp pad sponge really quickly. The surfactant in the lube helps contain the spread of the ink on the paper, while also keeping it really wet for a long time on the sponge. When the ink was a good consistency, I used my little stamp pad sponges to soak it up off the palette, and then I put them back in the box. While I'm experimenting a bit and making all of these colours, it seems like a good time to remind you that I've got a Patreon and you could go and support it. I've just started my Patreon properly this year in 2020 and I've got a bunch of different goals there for both fun and practical things, like buying some technical equipment to help with the production of these videos. And every contribution helps no matter how small. 
If you get some value out of these videos and want to give me the equivalent of, well, hey, a tube of lube each month, that would be brilliant. I've got a variety of reward levels set up over there, so head on over to Patreon and check them out. And that's it, the ins and outs of how to make your own stamp pad ink from stuff you probably have in your house. If you're interested in making stamps out of corks like I've also used in this video, you're in luck. I've just made a video about that process as well and I've included a link in the description. Please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. All the materials I used are listed in the description, along with links to my Patreon page, my website, my Facebook page my Instagram and some affiliate links to a couple of good art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.